everyone how are you and welcome to test prep card and today we will be discussing about its sat preparation specifically for indian students so let's have a brief what is sat sat is scholastic assessment test which is paper pencil based and which is scheduled five times a year the march may august october and december its score range from you can score from 400 to 1600 as it has two section maths and english and both carries 800 specifically it is developed to evaluate your english and mathematical skills so there is no cutoff of the scores but yes of course the with good score you can get admission at top universities like mit but with the scores like 1000 plus you can get the admission into state universities so there are certain points you need to keep in mind while preparing for the SAT. So let's have a look. Very first is scheduling your exam. When you should take your SAT. Base time you can take your uh, SAT is September. Like September, October. That is mid of your 11th. So you can start preparing at the start of your 11th or as soon as you finish your 10th. So in that case, what will happen? You first you get the ample of time to prepare, and second, if you are not happy with your scores, you have chance to reattempt it, to rewrite it, so that again you can take in April or May. So in that case, if you are uh, scores are good, twelfth entire twelfth, you can use it for the application. For the good score, you need a rigorous preparation. Being an Indian student, it's not that much easy because English is not our mother tongue. So Indian students may stuck sometimes with the words, with the phrases or with understanding the comprehension. So we need to practice a lot. But with dedication and hard work, of course, you get, can get your dream scores. So if you are planning for good score, you require, you can plan like Two months to six months, depending on how much weekly, how much hours you study weekly. So if you are planning to study 10 to 12 hours weekly, so in that case you require two to a half months for the preparation. And if you are planning to go gradual study, like three to four hours per week, so you can plan for six months preparation. So if you plan this beforehand, there is no last minute chaos. You can study it by your own with self-study or either you can take the help of coaching, guide or of course website and apps are always there to help you with the books. So coaching always proves very beneficial for the students while taking the SAT because it enhances your critical thinking ability and to solve the problem efficiently. They have their expert staff which have years of experience. They know the pattern so that they clear your concept very easily as per your need. They understand your strength and weakness. Along with that, you can work with them as per your time convenience. So you can work on your schedule. Along with that, as per your time, you can study with them. They improve you with the personalized attention and their practice test so they take a lot of practice i think if you are planning seriously to have that 1500 plus course you must think for the classes and there are very good classes in india available in both the case where you are planning to study yourself or where you are planning to go for the coaching certain points you need to take in account and what's that very first is you need to analyze your strength because once you know your strength and weakness, you can work on that. Even though if you are going for coaching, you can ask them that these are my weak areas. I need to focus on that very well. So how will you do that? For that, you can test at the start of your preparations. You can take the mock test, which is available online. So in that case, you get the rough idea ki where you are okay, what areas you need to take deep and all that so you can plan your study as per that second important thing is always take the full practice test during your preparations and at the end of your preparation as well because in that case you get the exact idea the real time check how you will going to perform in the exam third important thing always familiarize with the question pattern 
like when you solve the mock test you understand because see the mock test and the real sat paper they are exactly same i mean the pattern so the instructions the other everything apart from the questions everything is same so when you familiarize yourself with the pattern you can save your time in reading the instruction at the actual exam next think out of the box always when you are preparing for your sat i mean to say in everything you can feel that sat vibes so when you read the newspaper or when you read the comprehension or try to read some scientific editorial paragraphs so that you can understand the writer's point of view you can understand you can improve your reading skills there so like that when you practice thoroughly of course you are on your right track along with that be relaxed one week before your exam take ample of sleep and relax and most most important key is practicing you need to practice a lot and that is the key some or other time you just fed up with the how many times should i take the exams how many mock tests i should solve how many sample papers i should solve but this is the key trust me the more you solve you feel the so ease with your exam pattern and and it clears your each and every point so let's have a look how you can improve or how or some tips so that you can improve your reading your uh, language as well as your math section very first for language so for language as i said we need to work more on words phrases and be well versed prepared with your sat vocabulary because each and every question is designed to analyze your grammar your sentence making and your word choice read lots of newspaper read lots of newsletter articles mainly american articles so that you can understand because language section is difficult for non english speaking people like non american accent then while preparing just always first you can have look at your questions so while in passing you can locate the answers there or questions in your mind so it easy to find the answers then eliminate the wrong answers first so that the chances of getting the right answers are more one paragraph where need, you need to find the mistakes and other where you need to write the answers so be careful with that so these are certain points to improve your writing for maths you need to work on your speed and accuracy because math sections measure your skills in solving problems efficiently and accurately so you need to work on each concept rule and relation and more important thing is as you are allowed to use calculator in one section so be well versed with all functions of calculator and speed up your basic things so can you can save your time at the actual exam and work very well on formulas because you need to solve graph linear equations so formulas one important thing is sat don't have any negative marking so try to solve as many questions as you can So these are some handy tips. Wish you all the best and always take the help of books. There are lots of books, websites, so always there to help you.